Today, I want to share with you the answer to the question I'm asked most often, and that's what's the market look like as we come out of COVID? Here we are at the end of May, early June, looking at uh, the market, which has been an incredible upswing in the last year. And people want to know, is it going to continue? Is it going to stabilize? Is it going to drop? What's going to go on? So I'm going to share with you what I know. I get a lot of information from escrow people, from the agents that work with me. I read magazine articles, watch YouTube videos like this, and compile that all in my noggin here and come up with this. There are two important factors that are going to happen at the end of June that I believe are going to be the most significant trigger points to determine what's going to happen with the market. And it's not interest rates. Interest rates are going to go up. And that's a good reason to get in the market now if you want to do it. But what I think is going to affect it more is that at the end of June, we're going to see the moratorium on evictions that were imposed by Gavin, uh, Governor, Governor Gavin Newsom okay, back a uh, little over a year ago. That's going to come to an end. So after June 30th, landlords can evict tenants who have not been paying rent this past year. And those tenants are going to see a big bill come due. And if they can't negotiate a way to pay that off with their landlord, I'm sorry to say it's going to be a difficult position for them. Secondly, banks are going to be able to start foreclosing on properties where the landlords or the owners have not been paying their mortgage. At about the same time, the governor put a moratorium on bank foreclosures with property owners. That's going to come in to an end also. So what's going to happen? June 30th, no more uh, evictions can begin with tenants and landlords are going to begin that process. It may take 30, 60, 90 days, depending on the situation and how amenable the, uh, the tenant is for leaving the property. But somewhere in that 30 to 90 days, we're going to see properties coming on the market that the landlords have had a untenable tenant who doesn't want to cooperate with allowing showings and the landlord hasn't been able to even access the property due to COVID, those landlords are going to finally be able to move forward with putting their properties on the market. Secondly, we're going to see the properties that have been foreclosed on by banks, and this is going to take a little longer. Foreclosure takes a minimum of 90 days. Sometimes they're working with the, uh, the owners of the properties. It may take longer, but I think by this fall and end of the year time period in there, we're going to see those properties begin to filter into the market also. In both those situations, it's going to help the quantity of available properties be for sale. And with some of them being distressed properties, namely the foreclosures, we're going to see some lower price points come in where they are now. Now, in my opinion, this is not going to destroy the market. We're not going to see it tank in some sort of immediate fire sale going on. Because I remember a little over 10 years ago, back in 2007, 2006, 10 to 15 years ago, when it was happening at Great Quantity, and we did see the market tank. But a lot of those bankers are still operating today. And they cut their teeth in a downward swinging market at that time. So I think they're going to be smarter in how they appraise properties and what prices they let them go at. There are going to be opportunities here, I think, primarily for the flippers, okay, that want to come in and be able to buy right so they can do the improvements and sell and make a profit, uh, profit on it. But that's not going to mean that it's going to be this immediate fire sale of a bunch of properties. I also think they're going to come into the market at a speed that they can be absorbed by the growing amount of buyers out there. But there are going to be some real opportunities, that being said. So watch for those two things. We're going to see uh, landlord properties that have been held back because of tenants come on the market, and we're going to see bank foreclosures. I think it's going to put kind of a cap on this upward swing, but I don't think it's going to tank it. So I think the opportunity is there right now. There will be some at some lower prices, but it's not going to be way down here. And with interest rates going up, it's going to eat up some of those profits, profits for the people who want to live in the home. So it's still a good time to buy with where it is right now. There's my two cents. My name's Eric Meeks. I hope you can make good use of this information. This is where I think we're going in the near future in the Southern California real estate market. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Have a good day. Thank you for watching the Desert Real Estate Channel. I hope you found these tips uh, interesting and enjoyable. Hope they help make you a better realtor and a better real estate buyer or seller. Please like or subscribe to these videos somewhere in the boxes below. And 
I'm Eric Meeks. If I can ever do anything for you personally, please don't hesitate to call. Thank you. Have a good day.